<laughs> well, I can, but I don't think he can. <laughs> no, I, I can't. I actually can't really remember racing together. I knew, Heart like, I, I always, I always, for some reason, I thought I was a year ahead. I knew we crossed paths like a well, couple of were. times, but I don't really remember. You were. Uh, I mean, Nick started right. Formula Ford well before me. He went off to the F3 route, and I was doing Formula Ford, and then gone to Carrera Cup. And then I came to Carrera Cup a year or two after that. And then so we had, I think, one or two years in crossover. Cup car. And, it's and, always hard when you know you're at the front and he's down the back. Like you, you know. It's, it's interesting because I do remember beating him a couple of times. Probably. I don't know. I saw him on the grass yesterday. So briefly. Uh, qualities. I mean, I think in terms of where we come from and what we're doing now, like we have the same qualities. So you've got, obviously got some like kind of determination to pursue a career and go to the lengths of you know going to where the best championship in the world is and having a run at it I think anybody who's got that kind of determination and backing to be able to do that and makes that commitment makes that step to live in in Europe and and go the full full ticket I mean that's I think that's anybody's kind of strength especially where we come from it's a it's not a I think the world's a small place now but it's a big step across the pond Got blood, maybe me. He's got white shoes, shorts, and it's from the Gold Coast, so I think he is yeah. just maybe me. Yeah. yeah. Nick's got a, part, a few European passports, so he's. I think he's probably more multicultural than me. Actually, I did have a didgeridoo once. Really? I got it at a zoo. My uncle bought it for me. I tried to play it once, and I couldn't breathe in and and blow out at the same time. I'm not very good at blowing, so um, yeah, I didn't keep it. Or it's you know not a not a hobby. Let's I thought like you that. picked that up quite quickly. What's a shark biscuit? Boogie border? Is it? I don't know. No, but I don't know what it... <laughs> <laughs> Just use it. When I'm going out for a surf, I hate it when I get chopped in by a shark biscuit. <laughs> A, oh, whoop whoop, I know what whoop whoop is, yeah, got that. Yeah, okay. that's, right. that's, where, that's where you qualify, Ace. <coughs> <this. laughs> I did actually qualify at whoop whoop. Yeah, whoop whoop is middle of nowhere, like out in the yonder, which back there's the, a lot of in Australia. Back of the grid. Shay qualified in whoop whoop yeah. today. And Nick was close to whoop whoop. Next suburb over. Yeah, there's a good analogy for you. <laughs> Esky. Esky, it's a ice bridge. <coughs> it's where you keep your beers cold. I mean, it's... It's a, it's they, it's a topic for called, conjecture with Kiwis, isn't no, it? No, but they're called an Esky. Like, you yeah. actually buy a brand of Esky called Esky. Yeah. So what, what do you guys call it? It, it? it is, yeah. Well, we call it, yeah, it's an Esky. They're from, no, they're, from <laughs> they're from the UK, you don't man. You need to keep cold. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Well, Just put Australia, it outside. In, it, yeah, it's a cooler, yes, but it's... Yay, so big. You know, and you <laughs> put your shark biscuits in. Oh, we did ones. Thongs. <laughs> I know what thongs are. They're, they're what you would call no. flip flops. Flip flops. Jandals are what Kiwis call them. Yeah, but we have a multi purpose use for thongs. Yeah. You wear them on your feet. You wear and them in two places. Females on the body. wear them on their body, or in Shay's case, sometimes he wears them to bed. On race days. Get a tech job, earn a lot of money, and have a much better life. Yeah, that would be my first point. But then, secondly, I would say get <laughs> over here as early as possible. I think you've just got to make the commitment. For me, I was had an opportunity to come, and it's kind of my career's progressed from there. It just depends on where you're at. There's no point dreaming about it. If you if you want to do it, you've got to you've got to have a crack and, and have a nudge. And in the end, it's going to happen. If it happens, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. But you're not gonna live life wondering what, what could have happened if you don't. Peanut out, follow me on Instagram, babies. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching our truly enthralling conversation, as I'm sure it was. Uh, be sure to check on the GT World Facebook page for more amazing chats like this with Peanut and myself and many other fantastic drivers up and down the grid. Cheers, guys.